So welcome to this video about finding the North Star. Now this is only applicable if you're actually in the Northern Hemisphere on Earth. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then you're not going to be able to see the North Star anyway. So the first thing you need to do when trying to find Polaris or the North Star is to look for this constellation made of seven bright stars. Now you can see this fairly easily, even if you don't have very great seeing conditions. It has a few different names. So you may have heard it called the Big Dipper, the Plough, Ursa Major, the Great Bear, and there's a few variations of that. But the core stars in all of those are these seven bright stars, and it looks a little bit like a saucepan with a handle. It's fairly easy to see. Now it might be in a different orientation in the sky, so because the Earth rotates and the stars will then rotate around the polar axis, you may find that this saucepan is either on its end, upside down, or some other orientation. So don't think you're going to find it looking perfectly level. You just need to find those seven stars that make that shape. And once you've found that, there will then be another constellation above the saucepan. If you're thinking of the saucepan when it was level, then there would be another one above it, which would be upside down. And it looks fairly similar. So it's actually a smaller version of the Big Dipper. And that, has, again, has a few different names, the Little Dipper, Ursa Minor. So it's a smaller version of the Big Dipper. And that's the one that we actually need to find, which has Polaris in it. Now, if we take the two stars at the end of the Big Dipper, the end of the saucepan, we draw an imaginary line between the two and then carry on towards the Little Dipper, it will point directly to the North Star or Polaris. And it's actually the end star of the handle on the Little Dipper. So it's fairly easy to find. It's worth noting that you can obviously see a lot more stars here on those images, but it's the first bright star you come across. So you, none of the smaller stars, it's the, it's the brightest star you come across as part of the Little Dipper. Now, again, why is it useful to know where the North Star is? It's always in the north direction. So if you were to look at the stars in the sky as the Earth rotated over a co the course of an evening or a night, the North Star or Polaris would always be in the same location. And then the other stars and constellations would rotate around it. So it's always useful to be able to find. And that way you can always find North, provided you have clear skies. So that's why we call it the North Star and why it's useful to us. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, then you can check out some of the other videos.